So last night, uh, I got invited to this event. You can probably relate to this. A friend invites you to go see a speaker or go see a talk. And, uh, you know, you go and you look at the website of the registration form and it looks douchey, but you go because your friend invited you. Uh, well, this happened to me and Justin last night. We went down to Toronto to go and see this guy talk. And uh, uh, he's not a professional speaker. He, he claims to be a professional speaker, but what he really is is a professional pitch man. Uh, I sat for 90 minutes while this douchebag gave us a talk, uh, basically just trying to sell us on his next seminar that cost, you know, several thousand bucks. Um, and he said some things last night that really, f they really fucking pissed me off, to be totally honest with you. And, and um, I'm a little bit fired up from, from watching him talk because uh, I'm so mad at the way that he treated his audience and so angry that, that people put up with this shit um, that I had to do this post. And, and so... Here's a couple of things that this guy did that really pissed me off. Uh, one of the things that he did is that he demanded and commanded the audience. He basically made demands of us that we do things, and, and it was unanimous participation. Um, and so one of the things was that everybody in the room needed to take notes. And he would tell us what to write down. Write this down, write that down. And Justin and I refused to take notes. We're not note takers. So we didn't. Uh, and, you know, at one point he called on Justin and, and, you know, to answer a question and then said, oh, you didn't take notes, forget it, and, and just moved on. And, um, he, you know, he, he said things to the audience that really got under my skin. One of the things he said, and, th you know, this, isn't, this is so typical of these seminar speakers. He said, wealthy people don't ask how much things cost. And he was basically preparing us to buy his seminar. We shouldn't ask how much it costs because if you want to have a wealthy mindset, then you shouldn't ask how much things cost. I've never heard more bullshit in my life. You know, uh, I have a lot of friends that have, you know, a decent amount of money and, and um, not a single one of them writes a blank check when they go buy a house or a car or, a, uh, a, you know, a, a new uh, suit. Nobody writes blank checks in my, in my group of wealthy friends. Um, and I think what these guys do is I think they try and tell you that uh, you don't know what, how to deal with rich people. And that was one of his big things was that I'm going to teach you how to talk to rich people. You don't have to learn how to talk to rich people. Talk to rich people like you talk to your best friend and you'll get along just fine. Forget that they're rich. That's how you talk to rich people. Um, and it really got under my skin the way this guy did things. And one of the things that he said was, he, said, he was doing his talk and he said, people don't like to sell or be sold. They like to buy things. And he, then he proceeded to hard sell us on his seminar the whole time. This guy was so douchey. One of the things he did right before he made us, you know, had everybody fill out the seminar form, and he, he was basically trying to hold us hostage to buy, the, to buy into his seminar. He made us rub our hands together, and he had the whole audience say yes, like 10 times, really loud. And of course, you know, he's trying to put, he's doing this neuro-linguistic programming, trying to put us all into this hypnotic state of saying yes and pulling out our credit cards. And it was so fucking transparent that I wanted to vomit in my mouth. In fact, I did a little bit. And the minute we had a chance to leave, we were gone. You know, it was one of those events where if you got up to leave in the middle, you know, it wasn't going to be very polite, it was going to, you know, interrupt people, and I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian, so I'm polite, we stayed uh, a little while, but the minute that he said, okay, we're going to do a speed networking round, you know, which is what these guys love to do at these types of events, Justin and I were off to Young Street to get a falafel and in the garden, on the, on, in the car, on the garden, or on the way home. Um, and... I just got to thinking on the way home, and Justin and I were talking about this on the way home, how both of us were kind of, you know, really offended by the talk, and, um, you know, it really got under my skin that he actually thought that the audience was that stupid. And granted, some of the people in the audience were that stupid, and some of them probably did buy his seminar, and if, you know, if you're watching this and you're in that audience and you bought the seminar, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to call you stupid, but he treated you like you were stupid and you bought something from him. Um, and to me, that's the worst offense you can do is give someone like that your money. This guy claims to, pl to fly in a private jet, yet he's selling a $2,000 seminar to a room full of 50 people in Toronto. Um, you know, something doesn't add up here. This guy's full of shit. So, um, what I want to leave you with today is think about when you hear the term public speaker. And if the term gives you a sour taste in your mouth, it's probably because you saw one of these douchebags on stage trying to hard sell you on some bigger seminar or, to or tell you that you don't have the mindset for being rich. Or they tell, you, they, they tell you this shit to make you feel like you're inadequate. Um, understand that they need to be separated into two categories. One is a pitch man and the other is a professional speaker. Okay, And the pitch man will sell you stuff from stage and will, you know, will... Uh, will say things to other speakers like data doesn't matter because he, he just cares about how he makes you feel. 
And a proper professional speaker will actually deliver content and value and give you stuff that you can take home. Whether they sell something or not is irrelevant, but the professional speaker won't spend his whole talk or her whole talk selling you. They might spend the last couple of minutes pre presenting an offer to you, but the rest of the talk should be uh, a value add and should be, uh, you know, should be a proper um, uh, dump of content that you can actually get something out of. So, um, sorry for the rant, but I, this guy really pissed me off, and I just I had to I had to do this. I had to have this chat. Uh, if you find yourself in an audience where you're being pushed around, you're being uh, bullied, one of the other things this guy did, which I thought was really interesting, is he stood by the door, and when I left, he tried to strong arm me into turning in my uh, seminar form, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous because I'm not the type of person that gets strong armed. So we just left, uh, and I don't know how many people bought. I don't know how many people got suckered into going to his event, but um, you know. I'm trying to avoid this type of person, I'm trying to avoid these type of events. As a public speaker, you take the events that you can get, but sometimes you're surrounded by these douchebags, so uh, you have to find a way to set yourself apart, and that's what I'm doing. So I'd love to hear your comments on this. Uh, have you been to any douchey seminars? If so, you know, share your stories, I'd love to hear them.